Hey guys, we're going to look at how to shift a parabola. And we're going to talk about how the equation affects shifting the parabola. And we talked about the turning point and vertex in the previous assignments. Um, and the big idea first off with the first exercise is viewing how the number before the x squared, sometimes they refer to it as the a value, affects how the graph can look. So this one says without using the calculator. And we're just going to review the idea. So I'm going to just do a little sketch. We're going to do a sketch. So we're going to do a graph, but we're just going to show a graph. It's basically just kind of graph with maybe a key point or two on it. So for the first one here, it says 2x squared. Well, like we talked about before, if you have a, if the a value is greater than 0, it's going to open upwards. And if that a value, like with part b, is less than zero, it's going to open downwards. Now the higher the number, the higher the digit, the more narrower the graph will be. So like for this case, for 2x squared, well, I'm going to start by putting my turning point, which is 0, 0. And then from there, I'm just going to kind of sketch in an idea what the shape's going to look like, that parabola. Now with B, it's negative 3, so that one, when I draw that one in, because that 3 is higher than 2, this one's going to be a little narrower, but it's going to go in the opposite direction. So, and again, it's not perfect, but again, I'm just trying to show some of the characteristics that we talked about. Okay, And then with part C, well, both of these have the same turning point. So, Right now, as we talk about this, the A value really doesn't affect the turning point because both of these turn at the middle. Now, the idea with exercise two is how is it shifted? So I'm going to do exercise two with you, and then I want you to do exercises three and four on the back, which go through different scenarios. And there's just a lot of graphs, and you're trying to figure out what happens to that turning point. So I have a function, f, that they already graphed for us. And then we have g which we need to graph. So f is x squared, and that one has a turning point at 0, 0. Now I'm going to take the calculator, put it up my screen. I'm going to go to y equals. Now I'm going to type in that function. So I got x minus 2 in parentheses squared minus 4. And I'm going to go to second and graph. So now i got a new graph here. I'm going to use my cursor. I'm going to go up and down. I'm going to start at that turning point. So i got 2, negative 4 for the turning point. So i got that turning point at 2, negative 4. And then I'm going to go around that point. So you can go up or down on your calculator as you're graphing this. So you got 1, negative 3. We got 0, 0, and negative 1, 5. Oops, that one's a little off. And then going the other direction, you got 3, negative 3, 4, 0, and 5, 5. Okay. Then you go ahead and you can draw that new graph. So this red one is g of x. Now going to the... Uh, the question itself, B and C, it says, how would you need to shift the graph of fx to get g of x? Well, and when we talk about shifting, you want to give specific directions. So you want to say it went left 3. You want to say it went up 2. You don't want to say it went left, because that's not specific, specific, yeah, specific enough depending on the question. So for this one, to get from our original turning point, which was 0, 0, we had to go write two spaces. So we went right positive two. And then we went down four spaces. So they wanted to say, what is, what is the turning point of g of x? And in this case, it would be two, negative four. And where do we see that in the function's equation? Well, the x value is in the parentheses. 
and the y value is the constant in that last value. So as you do exercises three and four, just kind of look at where the turning point moves. And again, be specific. Like I said here, I didn't just say up or down. I said down four. And I didn't say left or right. I said right two. So make sure you use specific directions when you're saying how it shifts.